Um, Carla, you're a teacher in artist book. Mm -hmm. What is that? What is artist book? That's a tricky question. I think it depends who you ask, but generally I say it's a book made by an artist. Mm -hmm. It's like when you decide that you want to make a book, you could do it with a publishing house, mm -hmm. but you are like in initiating the project mm -hmm. and doing the book. Mm -hmm. So the book becomes kind of work in itself. So you're like the publisher and the you, artist? Mm, you, you don't necessarily have to be a publisher to do an artist book. I mean, mm -hmm. you can do an, uh, this for example is an artist book, yeah. I would say, but yeah. this is published with like many different publishing houses. Uh -huh. But okay. still, like the artist is deciding the format, the content, mm. like the rhythm, everything. Mm. So that means like the book becomes a work, uh, okay. like in itself. Okay. I would say. And then people would argue like, well, you know, it has to be small editions or self-made or whatever, but I would say it's more like a body of work. Okay. And your, your teaching artist book, how does that work? How do you teach that? Well, I think in photography field where I am uh, working here at Valand, yeah. um, photographers are really, really interested in making books because mm -hmm. it's a fantastic way to display like your work. Mm. And uh, so I try to uh, work with the students with their, with their works, mm -hmm. uh, their projects, and see if they can kind of fit that into making books in different mm -hmm. ways. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a book card bound like this, it could no. be like papers or boxes or whatever. But it's, uh, it's, about, uh, it's about that. So I, st I started this, we started a small micro publishing house called Black Book Publications mm -hmm. in 2006. Just because there was like no big uh, publishing houses that wanted to do this kind of books that we did, because they couldn't see like how can we sell it, you know, no one who wants to buy this. Mm -hmm. But there was like a market for it. I mean, in the United States, it was quite quite big. So we started this publishing house uh, where we like were some photographers who mm -hmm. just helped each other mm -hmm. to like uh, distribute. Where could you find the best printing houses? Who could help you with layout? Mm. It became some kind of collective, mm. uh, loosely, mm. and, and that just exploded in in here in Scandinavia around 2007, 2008, 2009. It became like many, many, many publishing houses mm -hmm. um, working with artist books. But is it is it more? Um, I mean, it's, um, it must be difficult for a photographic artist to sell their work immediately. Is, mm -hmm. it, it is, is it easier if you also have the possibility of working with artist books? Yeah, I think definitely so. It's a, like most of the photographers or artists that I come across is by books because mm. people rarely exhibit and in I mean big venues is only big names yeah. but there's like so many skilled and interesting artists, photographers. Mm. So the, definitely the artist books is a way of getting in contact with like many 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 uh, uh, photographers and artists mm. and it's a great medium to mm. do it and I th it's like the small scale publishing houses kind of interact with each other and help help each other and they meet each other at fairs you know mm. all over mm. you know and the books like distributes through the world on that kind of level mm. it's quite beautiful yeah it is yeah. it's like a collective yeah it's like a big big huge collective uh, and generally people are very, very helpful mm -hmm. in that community. Yeah. And I can see that it's a, a lot of students who are really, really interested in, uh, in making books. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And also since uh, Valand has this kind of printing press where you can mm. actually make your books proper yeah. in editions, there's always students who want to like, apply to these courses and to... But do your students here on photography on the MA mm -hmm. program, do they collaborate with other disciplines within the university? Within Valad, yeah. We did this uh, series here called The Encounters, which is a um, collaboration between all programs at uh, uh -huh. the Valad Academy. Yeah. Um, and my part was artist books and we had uh, people from uh, Frikonst, from, uh, mm. from fine art, from uh, film, from uh, yeah, from all the programs. Mm. And so they met and one was in writing and she was like, I don't know in design, but I really love your work and I would really like to write something. Mm. But I would like to learn in design and it was like a match. So yeah. they just, you know, it's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I think I would like them to feel confident in what they're doing, mm. really. Mm. And really to feel like, okay, I have this, this work and these skills mm. that I'm like so interested in and 
putting so much energy into and when I'm out of school I just wanted to continue and to explore that mm. uh, and also to like try to link them or to like let them to you know to see where their platform is and you know mm. how they connect with their contemporary uh, feel outside yeah like see how they can like link with that yeah they stop school like yeah the curators the small publishing houses mm -hmm. the galleries you know they're part studios. in the bigger yeah, machinery exactly like every mm. generation has their like you know platform and feel yeah and try to see them like you know link into that and just mm. you know you also happen to be a collector of Photographic of, books. Uh, photographic books, yes. What's the fascination <laughs> about photographic books? Well, I think it's because you can like totally devote yourself to someone's work. Mm. Like, and it's all here and it's very like physical, it's yours and it's like, yeah. It's, it's yours, a, how important is that? Uh, not, not by owning it, but no. like, uh, no, not really. It's for it's you to like, explore? Yeah, exactly, it's more like that, mm. for me to explore. Uh, and I have like a kind of, I'm not a collector in that sense that I really like have, have everything and you know signed copies and that. I just buy things that I like. You're not nerdy. <laughs> well, no, I wouldn't say so, but maybe someone else would say it. Uh, no, not nerdy, not really like that. But uh, I buy books that I like and uh, then they just become super expensive. Yeah, yeah. So that's like... I don't think it's so good. I think it's just a problem mm. because they get so expensive, and then you start to get like, well, shall I take care of this better? Or you know, yeah. they can't be close to the windows because you don't want no sunlight. Right. And you start all this stuff, like you know. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but there are very few books that really, really, you know, stick to you. I think I have maybe mm -hmm. like ten books, or yeah. something that's really super, super fantastic, and yeah. it has been for ten years or whatever. Uh -huh. So it's that quite, you keep quite a few. Getting back to? Yeah, I keep getting back to. Uh -huh. that's, yeah, that's quite a few books. I asked you to bring a few. Yeah. Which ones did you bring? I bought this series uh, Two Place with the American artist Ronnie Horn, mm -hmm. who was born in the 50s. Uh, and she made this kind of encyclopedia mm -hmm. of, um, of Iceland. Uh, so oh. every book is like a chapter of her, like, artistic work in Iceland, mm -hmm. uh, which she came, she keeps coming back to Iceland like every year, yeah. working with different things. Have you been to Iceland? Never. So what's what's so fascinating about... The books? I don't need to go to Iceland when oh. I have the books. No, no, I'm just... Uh, <clears throat> no, but I think the, this is like the combination of the idea of making this kind of body of work that's ongoing, yeah. which I think is fantastic. Uh -huh. And also then everything is like so linked to this to this project. Just like seeing the dots on the sides, like indicates that. Yeah, what are they? I mean, uh, it's just the, like the color of the book, but like it indicates like this is a series and it's different chapters and. Uh -huh. Are and these I, all in the series? Yeah. Yeah. Or are there more? I, I, I miss one. Oh, but you, you do. You can't buy it. Okay. It's like. Too expensive. Fifty thousand or? or something. Oh wow. It's not possible. But I bought this like long time ago, and now it became super expensive. And that doesn't ache in you that you lack one. No, you have to move on. You're definitely not <laughs> nerdy in your collectorship. Nerdy. I will buy it one day, but I mean, yeah, yeah not now. No, I'm not nerdy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, are we done? I think we're done. <laughs> yeah. I have checked. Uh, I've checked the boxes in my head. Yeah. Jättebra, jättetrevligt.